Care providers in the community stress the importance of Wisconsin's safe haven law after the body of a newborn baby was found in Whitewater. Good evening, I'm John Stofflet. And I'm Maria Lizignoli. A local hospital and organization speak out on the law and how to protect not only babies, but parents. NBC 15's Cameron Kelly joins us now. And Cameron, this law guarantees the rights of parents relinquishing custody of newborn babies 72 hours old and younger. And they can do this anonymously and confidentially. Newborns can be taken to a law enforcement, fire station, or a hospital without fear of legal consequences. The thing that kind of touches me the most is this amazing sacrifice that a woman is able to make for the just the betterment of her baby, the, a lot of times just for her whole family in general. 72 hours after birth is how long parents in the state of Wisconsin have to bring their child to a safe haven. Officials with organization Safe Place for Newborns stress people know what resources are available. We have only about 15 to 20 safe haven surrenders a year across the whole state. So it's not something that really should be used frequently, but definitely is, is really meant to, per, you know, prevent infant abandonments or situations like we had in Whitewater. Coordinator Trisha Burkett says there should be no judgment, only support. I think the biggest thing we want people to know is that this program is really to protect babies and mothers. I think that we sort of miss that piece of what the moms need in this situation. So we want to make sure that they know that we're here to support them. In 2022, Unity Point Meritor performed a safe haven drill to ensure staff understands how to care for a child the moment it is brought into the facility. One of the things um, that we discovered was we don't have any signs that say this is a safe haven location. So we now have a sign out in front of our emergency department. They say the action after taking in a child can be tedious. Uh, an infant born outside of the hospital, for example, who's being brought into the hospital, very likely doesn't have a birth certificate, for example. Um, so there's a whole naming process that the state has for naming an infant who has been turned over uh, or surrendered as part of the safe haven process. The Whitewater Police Department put out a reminder of Wisconsin's safe haven law when sending out updates. I reached out to the department and the chief tells me they are focused on bringing a resolution to this case. Live in the studio, Cameron Kelly, NBC 15.